Welcome back to Rods and Reloads. I am Luke and today we're going to talk about the new purchase I made for the ultimate e-bike for fishing. The bike I decided to purchase was the JCON EB7 2.0. Um, it's a more affordable e-bike. This bike actually comes in the price range of $799 right now on JCON's website. Uh, also note, this is not a paid advertisement video. This is just my review of this bike so far since I've owned it and the benefits of having an e-bike for fishing. Well, first let's start off of why did you buy an e-bike and why did you buy it for fishing? The reason is I live in a river valley here in Minnesota near Minneapolis and there's a lot of backwaters on the state trails here along the river that you can't really get to unless you're hiking many miles or you're taking a boat, getting out, hiking through the woods to get to the spot. So my idea was more content for you guys. I can get on these trails along the river and I can take my electric bike to these longer spots that take a long time to get there. You may think, oh, you're lazy, just pedal. Well, maybe so, but it's a lot funner when you don't have to pedal to get to those spots. Well, let's get into what this bike is, the specs, and uh, everything about it that you might want to know before you purchase an e-bike. Like I said, this is a JCON EB7 2.0 bike. It has a 500 watt motor, a 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery. Um, it has a very adjustable seat. I think this bike is made to fit up to people 6'3", or even maybe 6'4", I'm not 100% sure. The handlebars rise, the seat rises a lot. Um, the basket on this bike is aftermarket. It is from JCON, it's the website itself. I got it when I purchased the bike. Um, these rod holders here are also aftermarket. Um, I did put on a phone mount on the handlebar of the, uh, of the bike, and I did put on a Bluetooth speaker just to make it so when I'm on longer rides, I can put my phone on there and uh, I can play music through my Bluetooth speaker. This bike does have a full uh, display where it shows you the battery power and the level of pedal assist you're using while you're riding. It has an actual great headlight considering how small of a um, headlight assembly it is. It's actually very bright at night. I, I think it's perfect for the application. This bike also does have a horn, an electric horn, and it is, it is pretty loud, so um, it has a good safety benefit for that. Um, this does have disc brakes, cable disc brakes. They're not hydraulic disc brakes. Um, it has a rear shock here, which is fully adjustable on the bike, and it has front suspension, which you can also adjust or lock if you don't want to be um, having the front suspension bouncing, so that is really cool. I've actually ridden this bike 60 miles, according to the display, um, and so far it has been amazing. I'm uh, 275 pounds right now. Um, this bike is rated for up to 300 pound riders. Um, JCN does say it has a 40 mile range and that is in the lowest pedal assist, I believe. Um, I typically keep it on level five, which is the highest pedal assist. Um, it also, no pedaling needed. If you wanna just turn the throttle and go, you don't have to pedal. Um, so if you don't wanna pedal at all, you don't have to, but you can if you want to. And like I said, five different levels. Um, and they just go up in speeds as you go up. So level five goes about 20 miles per hour. That's about as fast as this bike can go uh, with the motor. You can pedal faster than that or go down a hill faster than that. But the motor will only allow you to go about 19 and a half to 20 miles an hour um, with the assist. Well, now that you've learned a little bit about the JC on EB7, let's go take this for a spin and let's talk a little bit more about it. Well, now that we're riding down the road, I can talk to you guys a little bit about the bike. Some of the things I like and some of the things I don't like. <clears throat> some of the things I love about this bike. The comfort of riding it. It has pretty good suspension for the price point of the bike. Um, right now it says I'm going 20, almost 20 miles an hour. It's about a mile and a half um, miles per hour off actual GPS. So when it says I'm going 21, I'm going about 19 and a half. <clears throat> Um, that is one thing about this bike. I do, like I said, I have almost 62 miles on this bike. And as you can see, I'm going up a hill right now. It does not like hills that much. Uh, it's a 500 watt motor. It's a decent motor, but I have not pedaled yet. And this is a pretty steep hill. I can pedal, like if I pedal right now, I'm pedaling. It's really easy to pedal even in gear seven, which is the hardest gear. <clears throat> and we'll actually take this 
uh, on this ride we'll take this over to uh, a gravel pit and i'll show you guys kind of some off-roading and see you get, uh so you guys can kind of see what it can do and stuff like that this is all urban concrete jungle here so nothing crazy here we got another hill in front of us um but that would be one thing i don't really like about the bike and it's not the bike's fault it's a 500 watt motor i'm 275 pounds um it's a the motor is not strong enough to push me up steep hills by itself and when i say steep it's got to be pretty dang steep like this hill here not a problem to go up <clears throat> without pedaling but i am pedaling just to get exercise at this point um i haven't done a full range test at level five but i do plan on doing that i have a feeling it will do about um 12 to 14 miles without pedaling at a person my size with a 10 amp hour battery i feel that's pretty reasonable and i'm pedaling at the moment but the comfort of this bike is pretty dang good i'm not a huge fan of the seat i would recommend possibly getting an aftermarket seat um, for someone my size i like to have a little bigger seat something a little more comfortable but like right there those are some pretty huge bumps that's my tackle box you guys heard thumping in the back basket but as you can see she runs great it gets up to speed i'll show you guys a speed test here on this flat ground without pedaling and i'll tell you when it gets to full speed let me make sure you guys can see so right now i'm not gonna pedal i'm just gonna i'm gonna pin it and we're gonna see what it does speed test There's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20.1. 20 it gets up there pretty fast. So that's one thing I've learned watching uh, reviews of other uh, content creators on YouTube. This bike being at the price point of $799 makes this a very reasonably priced e-bike and i did not mention this bike fully collapses the handlebars fold down and the bike folds in half um and with that said you can get this in the back seat of a car easily which is honestly super impressive uh, so that's another point i forgot to mention that this bike does fold fully in half which is amazing i probably won't really ever need to do it but if I need to, I can. All right, let's go do a little off-roading. It's nothing too intense, but this is all gravel and sand. And we're going to see what it can do. How about that for the video? I don't know where this goes i'll tell you what we're just gonna follow it oh is that an agate that's an agate i gotta pick this up hold on i got an agate right here yep that's a good eye we got an agate all right agate number one not really looking for them but that one was right there so i have to stop we're gonna go down into this uh i don't know what we're doing right now but we're going in here hang on Woo that was a little sketch a little sketch yeah it might be a little soft for me to be down here i think guys I think we'll go back up and then go up and we'll go up and around up there it's just a little 
it's literally a foot of sand down here as you can see pretty deep so we're gonna go around then we'll go up there all right we made it up top and as you can see this bike rides really well we can kind of cruise around in the gravel here but it handles really good I don't really worry about slipping out too much when it's really really muddy obviously that's an issue but it rides smooth even on these bumps it's really nice if it's obviously in the super soft sand not as good it's kind of it's kind of squirrely I'm really looking forward to getting this bike out and putting it to the test even more. Uh, we let's do a next video. Let's do a range test to see how far it'll go without pedaling at 275 pounds on the bike. I'm really curious to see what it can do. I think it'll be fully capable of going 10 plus miles on just a 10 amp hour battery on flat ground. So uh, next video, we're going to be testing out the capabilities of this bike and maybe even taking her fishing. But if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll give you my honest uh, opinion on it. If you do want this bike, JCN's website is right online. You can check them out. But other than that, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And we will see you very soon on the next episode of Rods and Reloads.